The federal government has not hidden its desire to ease doing business in Nigeria. Nigeria currently languishes at the 169th position on the Ease of Doing Business Index. Free trade zones are crucial if it is to succeed in this quest. But an investor coming to the country will first be confronted with a big dilemma. Where to go in order to get started? Does he go to the Oil and Gas Free Zones Authority of Nigeria or to the Nigeria Export Processing Zones Authority of Nigeria? For, so the idea of unifying, that 2006 bill provides a template for unifying these two agencies into one. The Oil and Gas Free Zone Authority law has come up for amendment in the National Assembly. And while many are debating what changes are to be made, this legal expert has the suggestion. The people are speaking of authority, but they're thinking of regulation. That's the point. So we need to be uh, uh, careful about that. We need to separate those two. And that's where I say that lawyers are the best to come in there. Not everyone agrees with that. No, no, I'm actually, I'm not even a fan of this lawyer thing. Not everyone also agrees with the argument that Nigeria may not need a free zone if things worked as they should. You know, you still have to generate external revenue. You cannot build an economy on self-sufficiency only. While the debate for one or two regulators rages, some say this doesn't even matter. The important thing is having one regulator like Dubai, where there's private sector involvement. Shegojumu, STV News.